what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video i'm going to be discussing the uh potentiality or the possible route that we could have gotten many years ago when scream 5 and scream 6 are still planned i'm going to be discussing how jill roberts could have returned because a lot of people seem to be uh confused as to how that could actually occur when we saw her die at the end of scream 4 there's a very easy thing that could be done based off of what we know the original plan was for scream 4 uh, for those of you who are already fans of the franchise and fans of the channel, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up uh, if you enjoy my screen videos because I'm going to be doing these a lot more. I'm not done doing Jeepers Creepers, absolutely not. Um, I'm just going to start doing more Scream content now that we got word that there is some type of pulse left in this franchise. Uh, but essentially, Jill Roberts could easily come back because originally Kevin Williamson's script for Scream 4, it ended at that house. Uh, for whatever reason, I don't recall what happened. I believe Kevin Williamson was uh his script ended up getting rewritten a bit at the end and they wrote in that hospital scene what was going to happen was at the end of screen four it was going to be a cliffhanger of sorts dewey and the gang and the rest of his cops they were going to come into that house after jill had staged everything to make it look like charlie had did everything and with sydney being dead and kirby possibly being dead as well uh who knows what they're going to do uh she was gonna she was going to get away with it and then at the very end as she's being taken away having seemingly gotten away with it we were going to end the film off with someone saying hey someone's someone's still alive and then we weren't going to find out if that was kirby or if it was sydney until uh kevin williamson's fifth film and when he originally had already written out a screen four five and six he had plans for because remember screen four was supposed to be the beginning of a new trilogy that's how screen four was originally going to end it was going to end on a cliffhanger with us not knowing who this survivor was whether it be Sydney or Kirby, I'm under the impression that they were going to go ahead and just make it Kirby. They might have gone ahead and gotten a little, uh, I don't know what Kevin Williamson really had. I, I believe Kevin Williamson had had the balls to do this. I feel like he was going to kill off Sydney. I think we were going to pick up with Screen 5 with Kirby being our lead character. And then what would essentially would have happened was Kirby and Jill, they're just living their lives and unbeknownst to kirby she she's completely unaware that jill was responsible for everything along with charlie kirby just kirby just thinks it's charlie now kirby in the back of her head has to be wondering how exactly could it have all been charlie when she got a phone call from the killer while charlie was locked up or tied up outside in that chair so she might have always been suspicious that there might there has to be someone else she probably has suspicion for all these years and she's been she's been uh just kind of just trying to figure out who was the other killer uh she's convinced there was another killer the officers in town are not wanting to hear anything like that because of the fact that they they they're set on the fact that it was charlie they don't want to deal with any more tragedies in this town but let's say that in screen five the screen five we would have got i'm just theorizing at this point this whole video is me theorizing in screen five a ghost face begins taunting jill threatening her to expose what she has done and what's happening is jill has become so famous from these events she has all these fans and everything in the town of woodsboro but let's say that this let's say that one of her fans is on to her they probably let's say that they have come up with an idea and a theory of their own that jill was the second killer she helped charlie and that she staged everything so that she can get to she can get this fame and attention and let's say that one of these fans caught on to that and now they've turned their back on jill and they're taking up the moniker of ghostface they're killing off certain woodsboro town members who are fans of jill and they are trying to get her to confess to the crimes that she has done uh, I would like I think that would have been a nice little clever twist on things a ghost face who is they're sick in their own mind but they're also trying to expose someone else uh, I would I would kind of go for that and that would I think that would just been a, a very nice thing to see that could have been a very nice thing to see uh, if they went that route many years ago when we originally were going to get another trilogy. Let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our post notifications so you never miss a video. Uh, in the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And then down in the comment section, I'm going to have a link to the Facebook group. Go ahead and join that Facebook group where we can talk, discuss anything horror-related and anything regarding this channel. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.